I'm back again for another update from Norwich, Connecticut. As you can see, there's tons of snow here on the ground. After my truck got repaired in Michigan, which cost 20, uh, well, 18.5k, I got a load to Salt Lake City from there for 6,300, and then got another load back to Connecticut for 8,000. I topped them up on that one. Uh, they begged me to take the load. Basically, called me. An original on it was 7,400. I said I'm not taking it for under 8,000 because I would have to drive 230 miles to Idaho Falls to get it, and then drive east through high risk weather areas. I told them it's too difficult, I want more money, and they gave it to me. But, I've still got a long ways to go to catch up from that big repair bill. But thankfully the truck is running better now. After 18.5 grand, I would hope so. But, um, again, of course, it had three stops. One was in Buffalo, New York. The second one was in the Albany area of New York. And then the third one, Norwich, which I have to wait till tomorrow morning to do. So I am here for tonight in Norwich. Connecticut. Um, temperature is about 45 degrees. It is mild out in spite of all the snow that fell last week. So getting into the weather and the climate. Anybody that thinks real global warming is going on right now this video, piles of snow in Norwich, Connecticut, suggest otherwise. In a real global warming pattern, you would not see this here. As I've said in previous videos, true global warming would mean less waves in the jet stream, less extremes in weather, less storminess, more benign weather patterns. Especially in the winter time. Global cooling, the opposite. But they're blaming all of these extremes on global warming and they're totally wrong with that. It's the opposite. They were right in 2001 when they said snow would be a thing of the past if global warming continued. They were right about that because snowfall would exponentially decrease under true global warming. This is not obviously not happening as this video shows. Where a snowstorm is now crippling nearly a third of the U.S. right now. All the way from Texas up to Michigan and Ohio, New York, northern New England, and everywhere in between is getting a huge snowfall. So, as you can see, Huge piles of snow everywhere. And yeah, it is going to get some rain tomorrow here, but it's likely not going to melt all this. So again, is a global warming causing all this bad weather in the country? No, it's the opposite. So... Now we got this volcanic eruption that occurred a couple of weeks ago that is going to 
make the situation even worse in the coming months and a couple of next years. It's going to cause a cool down further in the climate. And this time we're not going to have a high solar max to even it out. So, um, we go back to Panatubo in 1991. We were in the middle of a solar max when that eruption occurred, and it still cooled the planet significantly. This eruption is going to be worse than the effects. So...